All right, Senator Elizabeth Warren has doubled down in her criticism of Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. Yahoo Finance Fed correspondent Brian Jung is here uh, for more on this war of words. And that's exactly what it is, Brian. It's a war of words. Certainly, and we saw Elizabeth Warren again, a Democrat from Massachusetts, take the floor of the U.S. Senate yesterday to really bash the Fed Chairman Jay Powell, reiterating that she would not support his renomination. She had earlier in the day called on the Securities and Exchange Commission to uh, further investigate the uh, trades that were happening by senior Fed officials. We recall what happened with the Boston and the Dallas Fed presidents with a number of real estate investment trusts and individual stock trades. And then over the weekend, we heard some uh, detail from Bloomberg with regards to the vice chairman, Richard Clarida, possibly making some large uh, rotations out of some bond funds and into equity funds right before the Fed started taking emergency actions last week. Elizabeth Warren saying the culpability for all these things rest in Jay Powell's hands. Take a listen to what she said on the floor of the Senate yesterday. Setting the right culture at the Fed and making sure safeguards are in place to prevent self-dealing and to protect the public's confidence should be the minimum standard any Federal Reserve chair should meet. And once there is a problem, a quick and aggressive response is critical. Chair Powell has failed at both tasks. Last week, I said that I would not support Chair Powell's renomination because in one decision after another, he has consistently failed to serve as an effective financial regulator. But that is not his only failure. Chair Powell has also failed as a leader. It's coming shortly after Warren described Powell as a dangerous man for his record on financial regulation. Also keep in mind that we did hear from the SEC Chairman Gary Gensler in a separate testimony yesterday. He didn't speak to whether or not they were specifically looking into these Federal Reserve senior official trades, but he did say, quote, we as an agency look into things that are brought to our attention. And one other update worth noting, the Federal Reserve has uh, been in contact with its own watchdog, that's the Office of Inspector General, to, quote, initiate an independent review. We'll see what that review yields, guys. So taking a step back here and looking at the big picture of whether Chair Powell is set to be renominated or not, um, how much weight does Elizabeth Warren's protest have here? You know, other members of the banking committee, I think Sherrod Brown has not been committal one way or the other. The president has said he supports him. So what does all of this equal? Well, the question is really in the numbers in the Senate. And when you consider that it's a 50-50 split between uh, Democrats and Republicans in the Senate with Kamala Harris as the tiebreaker, uh, you do wonder about how thin that margin is, which is why I think a lot of people, rightfully so, are looking into the impact of Elizabeth Warren's clear uh, kind of enunciation that she will not be supporting Fed Chairman Jerome Powell if he is renominated. It's important to remember that the White House hasn't officially said who they want uh, to be the Fed chair come February of next year. But uh, whether or not Elizabeth Warren's kind of opinion sways other Democrats, for example, uh, in that 50-50 balance to perhaps join her in uh, not supporting the Fed chairman remains to be seen. And it's also worth noting, though, that if he is renominated, he does appear to have a lot of support from uh, those on the other side of the aisle. Maybe that's because he was a Trump nominee. Maybe that's because he is actually a Republican by affiliation. So it seems like uh, even if he is renominated, he could go without Warren's support and even maybe a few other Democrats if he can get enough Republican support as well. One small point I want to point out is that people who might be arguing, okay, well, does the uh, Fed trading scandal kind of uh, elaborate or or further emphasize the possibility of a Lael Brainerd, who's currently a Fed governor, uh, announcement as a possible replacement here. But we have to remember that uh, there's a committee inside the Federal Reserve Board which deals with uh, the, their interactions with the uh, reserve banks, which we know was the issue at the Dallas and the Boston Feds. She's actually the head of that committee. So the culpability, if you are trying to go down the trading scandal kind of angle here, does also fall on her as well. So some sources that I've talked to have said it's a bit of a wash if you're trying to say, well, does the issue that we've seen with this trading scandal maybe reduce the odds of Powell as opposed to Brainerd? I think both of them actually uh, might be uh, equally as responsible when it comes to uh, the, you know, possibility of trying to change these ethics rules to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. So very interesting dynamics at play here. Firepoint, Brian Chung getting us the, the details. We'll check back with you later.